Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jake, how you doing? Looks a little different. Looks a little different. On set. But, you know, things always change. We grow as we go here. Yeah. And uh, happy Friday. Good morning uh, to everybody out there. And um, Jake, how you doing? Good. I think it's important <clears throat> to know we're making some some slight changes to St. Pete Dudes. Um, we're testing things out, seeing how things are going. So, of course, at any point in time, please comment. Let us know if you like or don't like or have certain ideas. Just give your feedback with it. Right now, we are going, because of audio issues, we're going to just a two-man show. We'll be, Will is still here. Jared's here. Noah's not going to be on set, but we will be He's kind on of... He's on set. He's not on camera. <laughs> not on camera. There we go. Sorry. We will be kind of rotating a little bit and just <clears throat> discussing certain topics, but it's going to be... Li not limited, but down to two people at any given time. So see how it goes. Um, the whole different setup is different more vibes. Intimate. More intimate. There we go. We are definitely more intimate. I we love got being intimate. We got people, the so. we got the guitars um, in our behind us. I don't play the guitar at all, but this is these are Will's guitars. So you anyway. look like you could play the guitar a little yeah. bit. Yeah. If you didn't know yourself. Um, True. Well, nobody knows. Okay. But. So first off, we want to talk about Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Gotta all right. Talk so about you Super Bowl. watched it, I would imagine. Maybe. Okay. Uh, just I think 123 million, 23 million people watched ever watched Super Bowl, yes. I think, of all time. Yeah, is that because of Taylor Swift? Who knows? I mean, I'm is that sure just because it rises every single effect. year? I mean, it does. The so. Taylor Swift effect is real. Sure. But I digress. I don't okay. want to get into T-Swift now. It's a whole yep. other conversation. Yep. Raw thoughts? Uh, I think, I mean, going, so my thing with, it always comes down to Patrick Mahomes. Whenever Patrick Mahomes is a part of any sort of big game, it always comes down to him. And in my opinion, um, we can go back to what I was saying on the first playoff game of the of of this season. It was against Buffalo Bills, and it was away. That was, in my opinion, the hardest mm -hmm. test for Patrick Mahomes, and he passed it with flying colors. And that was my only question with him: was road game in a hostile environment. He's never done it in the playoffs. And when he did, it was against us and the Bucks, and he lost. However, he did what he needed to do, one on the road, one on the road again. By the time we got to the Super Bowl, I know it was the big, bad 49ers, but I've said it leading up, <clears throat> I knew Patrick Mahomes was going to win that game. Just well, plain and simple. Just like their last Super Bowl against the Niners, they were down 10. So they started off down early, Jake. They really couldn't get anything going. Yes. Um, some fumbles by CMC, yeah. a fumble by Pacheco, a muff yeah. punt, path through a uh, you know interception. Special teams played a big part in this game. Sure. And as you know, playing college football, it's a four-quarter ball game. Yeah. I think the Lions learned that as well the previous week yeah. when they played the Niners. Sure. But um, <clears throat> you, you mentioned Pat Mahomes and uh, – you know, a couple of sound bites have come out. You know, people on the sidelines, whether it's the Niners or even the referees, are getting in on the action. Uh, maybe left him a little bit too much time at the end there. Yeah. Um, Pat is, he's been to four. He's won three. Yes. Only losses to Brady, which he's the GOAT. The Bucks. But, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, is Pat on his way? Is he in that conversation? Is this like a LeBron Jordan kind of deal? This is the classic. You're you're discussing a legacy uh, of a guy that is still playing, still has many years left, compared to someone who is now retired. Now it's not as different as it's not the same as like LeBron and Jordan. We talked about this all the time. Where Jordan's been out of the league for what, 15 years, 20, 20, 20 years. Okay. So he's had time for for his bad to go away and his good to shine, right? Because that's what happens. When people retire, people forget about the bad and they remember the good. So Tom has only been gone for one year. Wait 15 years from now, no one's going to remember his bad. They're just going to remember the good, right? With Patrick, you you know his good and bad right now because we lived through it. Two years ago, we saw... Bad. Two years ago, we saw how bad he was against the Bucks, or how good the Bucks defense played, right? We know that. We saw him lose a Super Bowl. <clears throat> However, we just saw him do the unthinkable, go on the road and win. I just don't think it's time. Long Lord. story short, I, I think it's too early. <clears throat> he's only 28 years old, so obviously he's got a whole nother... Which know, is crazy, right? Yeah, it's insane. 28 years old, we're a year older than he is. It's like, absolutely insane. What, though? And, you know, when you look at Brady, he's got another, what, 17 years really to prove himself? But he's 
on his way to doing that already. Um, I think I saw a crazy Brady stat. Brady has like, 17 years to prove himself? What? No, no, no. Mahomes, Mahomes. to catch there we go. Brady, what? Retired at 44? Gotcha. Something yep. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 45? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I think I saw a stat where in the last like minute and a half or under two minutes uh, with the chance to tie or win the game, um, you know, all-time quarterbacks, I think Brady's like 3-3 three and three or something like that. Okay. Mahomes is 7-0. and oh. Okay. So... The clutch gene, I think it's obvious. Yeah. Um, he's got the it factor. I think Pat, again, I've told you this before. I think I said it last week when it was just you and I at your apartment. Yeah. I'm taking Brady in the history of the game overall over anybody. Yeah. But Mahomes is right after him. Sure. Um, I got a question about the uh, the bump. You saw Travis Kelsey kind of get into uh, Coach Reed's face. Yeah. What did you think of that? I'm going to be honest. I wasn't the biggest fan. I get it's a Super Bowl. It's yeah. a lot of passion. It's in the heat of the moment. And I think that was right after the fumble. I think that was right after It was after, after the, the Pacheco fumble when, I guess, Kelsey wasn't in the game. Right. Um, to me, so whenever, unless you're in that environment, and even I haven't been in that environment, but when you're playing football and emotions are going – and you have that relationship with a coach. I'm not saying it's okay, but you heard you heard uh, Andy Reid discuss it after, right? And he, I think he handled it beautifully, right? Like it was essentially, I, uh, you know, we bump each other all the time, right? They do. They that's their thing that they do. Now, how aggressive was was Travis? Pretty aggressive, right? A little demonstrative, but you know. he can't. I don't know if you saw Travis went on his podcast and. Took his brother com- called him out. His brother, of course, because that's what brothers do. That's what sure. he needs to do. He took complete fault and, and understands, like, yes, he is in the wrong. Yeah. Like, there is no ifs, ands, or buts. But it should be just nipped at the butt at that. He's in the wrong. Unfortunately for him, they won the Super Bowl. So, of course, naturally, that makes things less important when it comes to the bad side sure, of things. Sure, that would have been blown so, up way more. If absolutely. They if they lose, then it's a completely different story. But, you know, man, I... I, I think I think people are looking too hard too far into it. Emotions got going. He bumped into him. Part bumped. of the game. Part Another the classic game. moment in one of the biggest stages of any sports uh, field. And um, you know we'll look back at that and be like, all right, well, you know this is kind of the dynamics when you get into uh, the heat of battle. But I kind of loved it more after they won. Obviously, if they would have lost, I'm like, God. This, yeah, my biggest issue with with those scenarios is how people just automatically want to compare and assume why the treatment is of that scenario, right? So the sure. first the, the first natural thing is, well, is Travis Kelsey getting away with it just because he's Travis Kelsey, right? Like, to, a degree. to, to me, that is that is such a cop out. Like, I I just don't under I don't understand the way people compare things. It's a given scenario. View it as that given scenario. Either you agree with it or you don't, and you move on, right? Does he does he deserve to get cut and fined and no. like no? Like it's a Hall of Fame type it was a bad decision by him. It is what it is. It is what it is. You move on and you move on. Uh, real quick, uh, I thought Purdy played the actual pretty good game. Yeah, he, he did. missed a couple throws, but um, Purdy, I'm going to take him over Garoppolo. I know that's been kind of a topic, uh, especially since the Niners had Garoppolo. Yeah, no. in the last Super Bowl, but I'll take Purdy. Um, no team in the history has done what the Chiefs could do next year. That's a three-peat. And that is a three-peat. Real quick, what do you think the chances are of that? I mean, I think they have to be favorites. The fact that they aren't, I think I saw that they weren't. The fact that they're not favorites makes no sense. Um, I mean... The Niners? They're the favorites? I don't remember. Fuck, we should have looked that up. That's all right. Anyway, um, no, but I know it's not them because I saw a clip with, with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I mean... I would put money on them repeating, 100%. And they did Chris Jones really, is back. Chris Jones, they should bring all of the, you know, yeah, the every, big guys back. Their defense played great. McDuffie is awesome. Ward, or not Ward, um, uh, who's the Sneed? Sneed, the one that holds all the fucking time. Like, their defense is great. Their offense does what it needs to do. Travis Kelsey, I mean, I don't see why they would. Travis is getting older, and I think it showed a little bit at times this year, but they need another surefire pass. But the thing with Travis that I don't worry about his age is because he's never been this crazy athletic route runner. He is a feel guy. He understands how to get into open spaces and zones, which doesn't require 
you to be this freak athlete. The freak athleticism it's helps. Freaky stuff too. Sure, he, yeah. it does help, but he will find a way to get into spaces. And the the other aspect of it is you have a quarterback that trusts him that will throw him the ball even when he's not necessarily open. And I think Pat proved that don't need Tyreek Hill. One back to back Super Bowls yeah. without him after getting rid of him. And um, well, and he proved that he'll he he trusts. Travis. Rice I mean, no, the, that he trusts Travis. I mean, the, the, the third down where Travis dove, right? Like, you're not throwing that ball. No one else is going to throw that ball. But because they have that connection, it's True. Travis to Kel- or it's uh, Mahomes to Travis. I mean, he threw it and he caught yeah. it and it was a great catch. We're living in the moment now. The Chiefs are the, uh, you know, the it team, but I still might take Gronkowski slightly over Kelsey. But that's yeah. another conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, real quick, what are yeah. your thoughts on the halftime show? I immediately... We grew up on Usher. Listen, Usher was my first CD that I ever bought. I remember bringing Confessions home. Literally, Usher Confessions. I brought it home, played it on the living room speaker while my parents just went in their room. Swear to God. That was my... like. That and then Chris Brown were my two first CDs. Nelly Suit Sweat. Remember Nelly Suit Sweat as well? Those were like my first CDs that I bought. Usher Confessions, amazing. I immediately, as soon as he grabbed Alicia Keys, I immediately looked to my wife and I was like, isn't she married? And and, and I was just so fucking confused. And of course, that was like the biggest takeaway. was like Swiss Beats. Is he okay with this? It's entertainment, so it's, it's like you know it's gonna happen. It's the performance, but but it's like, come on, Usher, you know, like Swiss Beats is in your industry. You know him clearly, I'm, you know, and you do that, and you can see Alicia. Did you see her? Like, kind of. She, I mean, she yeah. was she she took she it and then she kind of like of walked away and that. stuff, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? But right, other than that, though, how okay. did you think Usher did from start to finish? I don't mind it. I've I, gotten some mixed reviews. Yeah, the beginning, everybody says the vocals in the beginning were bad, but he's dancing a lot, so I don't really. I mean, the man was sweating. It, he was getting after it. he had how many changes? Uh, wardrobe cha- wardrobe wardrobe he was changes. Rollerblading in a point. He was rollerblading, which was very impressive, That's by the way. Stuff to do. I don't know how the Especially the four blades, I don't, I don't really know. Brought but, out Alicia Keys, little John Ludacris showed up, and, uh, and oh, her. and then and then who who is the dude that everybody um, thought was CeeLo Green? Because I did the same so, exact Jermaine, thing. Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine Dupree, that's who it was. I did the same exact thing. I was like, is that CeeLo Green? So it's so CeeLo funny because some weight, if that was the case. Right, but they have the same kind of like facial same, though, like so. I said the same exact thing. So both of those two things, and then I look on on X, and, and it's like everybody's talking about that. But otherwise, I mean, classic performance. Love Usher. I think it was amazing. So Started off, I'm going to be honest, it was very poor. It was very poor. I know he was dancing. I know you say that he's moving around. He's doing all these things. The vocals are a huge part of this performance. I mean, it is a huge part. I don't want to see the dancing as much as I want to hear I think songs. it depends on the song. And I think the songs that... The vocals were very important, like Let It Burn and all of those. He did stop dancing. Usher picked it up. And he got in he front of a mic going. and he started doing better. So. Start off as a D minus, Jake. I think we okay. got to like a C plus, B minus. C really plus. Oh, Yeah, man. well, he started off really badly in my opinion. Ugh. But he saved it with, like you said, Let It Burn, Confessions, You Got It Back. And then Low, of course. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Low, you got Yeah, again with the boys coming out. But solid Super Bowl is the most walking history. Okay. And now... Football's over.